All right, welcome to my channel. So the first thing that you need to know before you start watching my videos is the purpose of this channel is for education and entertainment, mostly education with some entertainment and uh, mostly for my students really. It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to showcase my algorithm and for my students to, to see it working and me to be able to talk about the trades and why I'm taking the trades and things like that. This is not a channel where I'll be showing you that I'm making millions of dollars. So family rules, you won't be seeing that. Some traders out there want to put their stuff out. I don't even know why they do that. Like, And social media in a public sphere, hey, look at me. I made 20000 today, 50000 today, you know, all that stuff. That will not happen on this channel. The most you'll see me making here is anywhere from 50 bucks to 1000 bucks in a day would be the most once we get to that level of scaling. And then I'll reset and we'll be looking at 50 bucks, and we'll be scaling back to you know, 1000 a, a day or so. Um, and we'll just keep resetting that scaling. But family rules will not be showing you on this uh, my social media that I'm making tons of money. Second thing is I'm trading with Thinkorswim. That's my platform that you see here on the screen. So you got my two windows um, on futures trading. Same thing will be Thinkorswim. Um, so you'll see that I trade futures and the equities market with these videos. I trade based off of my algorithm, the simple switch algorithm, and it's got different settings. Same algo, but different settings for futures market for equities market and different types of uh, trading. It's got different settings for it. So I'll be trading off of that. Links below if you're interested in learning more about the algo. All the education over there is free, um, as well as the trading log that you'll see. You can get the link below, which will give you that log. Um, so you can um, go over there and explore all that stuff. So when you're looking at my screen, okay, and when you're looking at my screen, you'll see these uh, the chart markups and you'll see yellow. Wherever I put yellow is an entry. So when it's yellow like this, it's the algo um, ideal entry. And then you may see a yellow like this, and that is where I actually got in, and it'll be touching the candle that I got in on, and then the location. Red are my stops, green are my targets. And then if you wanna learn how the algo works, so you can better understand what I'm doing, when I'm doing my trades over at the link below. You can go over there and learn all about the algo. It's completely free for that whole education. It's free from, to learn about my trading plan, my strategy, everything that I teach about trading is free over there. Only thing that costs money is if you decided to buy the algo, then that would cost money. But you can apply a lot of the stuff that I teach over there, including my strategy and trading plan to your own strategies and, uh, and help maybe improve your game. So all that is definitely free. I don't charge for any of that education, uh, only the algo if that's something you decided to uh, add to your list. So then sometimes you'll see on here my, me doing experiments, um, which I'm going to try to do another one later on this year when I get a little more time. Um, but I love to do trading experiments. We blow up accounts, um, but we do it uh, in the purpose of education, showing you that certain trading techniques or strategies sometimes uh, just don't work. And uh, we, we play with some different concepts and uh, blow up accounts, real accounts, small accounts, but still real accounts. And you'll also see some small accounts as well like when we do offshore brokers and things like that. So, and then uh, of course, educational videos I'll be putting out as well. So there's a lot of different content here. So if you can give me the like, hit, hit the like button. That would help me a lot with the YouTube. And uh, if you subscribe and hit that bell icon, you can be notified whenever I upload uh, new content. And the last thing, but probably the most important thing is trading is very risky. Do not place a trade based on what you see here or whatever I say. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, if it sounds like I'm telling you what to do, it's me just thinking out loud. And you know, most traders will lose all of their money. I am strictly speculating. I do not have a crystal ball. So, you know, I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. So please do not take financial advice from me. This is uh, strictly to talk about how I trade, to teach about how I do things and for your entertainment. All right, so now the legal stuff is out of the way. Let's get into today's trades. All right, good morning, everybody. It's July 16th, Thursday, or Friday. Wow, it's Friday already. So um, I'm in QCOM right now. I just jumped in here, tried to get everything going as quickly as possible. Jumped in long for the switch. You know, we trade QCOM on the switch and the switch back. So we're in right now on the switch. We'll mark this up real quick here. So here in QCOM, we had this uh, purple color switching to the teal or green color, indicating a long trade. So we don't worry about permission on QCOM. So I jumped in long there. Over here we have APPS. It did not trade it unfortunately. And we had a nice we had our we trade this on a normal day trading strategy. So we had our uh, switch and then our switch back to the purple with permission for short. 
So indicating a short trade, giving us permission, would have been a really nice winner. But I wasn't here for it to trade it. So uh, unfortunately, that's what happens. I was taking stuff to the dump this morning and didn't make it back in time. So, oh well, that's how it goes. All right, so yeah, so we're, we're in QCOM. Hopefully this will be a nice winner for us. And maybe, just maybe, no, in the next 15 minutes, I don't see anything else setting up. So this will be definitely the only trade for today. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens with it. So when you're on the when you're on this thing here to put your uh, order entry in the active trader window, if you look over here, see the white line that moves around my cursor. You can see that same white line when I'm running up and down this, so you can see exactly where you're going to put your uh, your stop in. So we're going to make it break it on this uh, little square here, and that'll be my speed bump. So we got a speed bump in just in case. Now we'll go back to 440. All right, now we're ready to go. And then put it in my log immediately so I don't forget. Or if I have a bad day, I'm not pissed off and I'm not doing it. I don't care. I'm mad. So I'll put it in the log now. All right, everybody. So I got to bounce out of here and get back to uh, to getting some stuff. Uh, we're preparing one of our properties for sale. So I got to take some more stuff to the dump. So QCOM, you know, with the speed bumps, has a super high probability of green days, just like JD. But just on its own, it does have a very high probability. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and just put an OCO order in and not worry about speed bumping it. You know, we take a loss, we take a loss. Um, part of me says just hang out for a few more minutes and when it gets green, just put my order in for uh, my OCO for, you know, break even plus a couple dollars or the target. So I'm gonna try to hang out here for just a moment and see what this next candle does, but I gotta get out of here. So get some stuff together, see what this candle does, put the OCO order in and then bounce. All right, so I'm back in the office, and we have a loser. So like I said, with uh, QCOM, I really don't like to trade it if I can't speed bump it because um, speed bumping is where I get the, the most profitability in the strategy with QCOM. Not all my tickers are like this. Like, you know, Nug, I don't speed bump at all. Um, APPS, I don't really have to speed bump it. I can still do fine with that. APPS, I don't have to speed bump it. I can still do fine with that. But um, with... QCOM um, and J and JD, I do need to uh, to speed bump it so to have the best results. So here we are. Um, we had our switch. I only traded off the switch or the, or the switch back. I don't do permission. And we had our switch. Switch back would have been nice, right? Except it was a little bit later in the day. So right here, when it switched back and came down and then hit my stop, right here hit my stop. If I had speed bumped this, we would have recovered most of that loss. So I would have closed out my trade somewhere in here and uh, recovered almost all of this loss. So maybe it would have been like a $50 loss or $80 loss. You know, having $80 losses and $300 wins is an awesome ratio. So, but I wasn't able to do that today. And um, unfortunately, today was a loser. So we'll just take it and uh, we'll get it right back when we trade uh, QCOM uh, next week. So let's look at the rest of the portfolio. JD. JD just pretty much went down all day. <laughs> no switches at all, man. Sorry for was holding that thing long. All right, CVS right here. We had um, looking for the, uh, nope, no permissions. We do have a switch back. I did not trade this. Uh, sometimes I do on CVS depending on what's going on, um, but I didn't trade this today. I think this would have been a loser anyway. But uh, yeah. It would have been definitely a loser. And then uh, speed bump it. I would have made the money right back over here on the speed bump. So would have zeroed out um, on CVS. APPS. Make sure we're on the right day. That was yesterday. Um, yeah, APPS would have been a really nice winner, but I didn't trade it. No trade on APPS. I wasn't uh, I was late to the party, taking stuff to the dump, and uh, wasn't able to... Uh, be back in time so unfortunately had i traded apps this, i mean look at this boom straight down easily would have got more than one r on this thing um but you know and that would have given you a green day i would have had a green day so oh well and then uh nug no trade on nug so only trade lug to the long side and we got switches but no permission it's no trade on nug so there goes so there's the portfolio for today no trades um, other than that one loser. Let's go look at the log. All right, so here we are on the 16th, QCOM, 292, losing. And then uh, let's go to the calendar. So there's our uh, our week. We got that nice winning day. Then we got these two losers in there. 
And that's still a green week, still green on the week, right? Let's go back to the day trading log, maybe just in case I'm lying. So July, we're green. And then what week are we in over here? Yeah, we're, we're green by like 10 bucks on the week. Awesome. So still green on the week. Um, is that right? That is right. Wow. All right. Hey, that's cool. I'm not, no red weeks. Keep it going. So yeah, if we can uh, have no red weeks the rest of the year, that'll be awesome. And if we could have no red months the rest of the year, you know, we started January with a red month, but we're green the rest of the time. Awesome. Scaling ladder. I can never get past this pot. All right, not too bad. We're still three bars away. And with JD right now set up as a super premium, JD can easily give me a $1,200 day. And uh, we're 369. Boom, we're right in that next level. Can be awesome. Or we're way, way back down here. So I'm still in the 300 zone. One bar left, and I got to go back to the 150 zone. So uh, yeah. All right, everybody, have an awesome weekend. We'll see you on Monday. I will be trading the rest of the week Monday. Hopefully you had a great week this week that just passed. And next week, hopefully we have an even better week. All right, buddy. See ya.